Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Rising Star 2. My name is Tristan, and we're here playing as the Dyslexic Trio. And my deepest apologies. Um, basically, I've had, I think, seven episodes that I recorded. And I went back and looked at them, and they basically were broken. In one way or another. Two of them were completely my fault. I had basically been playing a different game before I started recording, uh, like I was re uh, streaming a game. And basically, you saw this much of the screen. I'm missing the term. Did it bother me? Resolution. I had the resolution wrong. That was two first two. That was my fault. Oops. Sorry. Um, and then the next basically five, like the next week, I recorded them. Basically, whenever I start recording a, like before I start my recordings, I do all, like I do check all my audio, and everything is fine. And then as I was recording, basically the game audio started cutting basically there's game audio and then there wasn't and there was my audio and then there wasn't at different times it was basically cutting in and out it's not the wires the wires are all good and every like the devices are fine it's obs basically likes to change settings in the midst of me recording or streaming i don't know how or why it's really annoying. Literally in the middle of a stream, it turned off my microphone. Like, it not turned off my microphone. It switched from my... What are you called? Blue light. Blue snowball lights. To my laptop uh, microphone, which you can't hear. I mean... Just to give you guys, oops, that's not the right option. Um, just so you guys can understand, basically, it changed it from. But yeah, that's what it did. Like, I don't know if you heard any of that, but that's the difference between the two. And in the middle of the stream, somebody told me, it's like, you just went super quiet, and basically I had to go back in and change everything. So yeah, basically I had a lot of, basically I had everything I'd recorded that week got scrapped. So, in the seven episodes that I scrapped, we went from somewhere, I think we were either finished this part of the tour or not, we did, where is this, Georgia, Georgia, Florida, um, Alabama, and Louisiana, Tennessee area, basically, we did this part of the map, and we booked more tours. So this set of the tour is done the same way as what you guys are familiar with, where basically coming up, oh, because I said, I basically somehow I accidentally clicked on Ontario to be in that part. And I just said, do 20 tours or do 20 um, gigs. And this is what it gave us. Um, the rest of it is different. We are now level 20 in the U.S. and Canada, so we are doing larger venues than what we were. This is what we were getting before, $10 a ticket, to, and basically we could do as small as 1,800 audience. Coming up, we are doing basically up 10, 13, I think I've seen 14 
when I was looking early, like before. But we're getting more different money and larger venues. Kind of. It's the same theaters, but we're not doing the small ones. So when I say do basically an area, we aren't hitting every place now if it, they don't have a big enough venue. And I, uh, we did, are doing another Canada tour again. I think we missed a lot. We're going to miss a lot of it because it's not they're not big enough. And that's fine. Um, we have bought... I don't know how much of this was on camera. We have a house in Atlanta. Dallas. And I just bought a house in Los Angeles. Uh, during, oh, this is the start of this tour, that's why, okay, so we're here, so basically my goal was wherever there is an airport, I want to have a house, probably not San Francisco, and probably only one of these two for a while, until we had better money. Um, as soon as we could, we did release our EU album. Which did not debut high. It debuted highest position was summer. I mean, we're not popular. But we have no pop. Like it was, I think maybe two, probably close. Like between one and two when we got it. When we released our album, so we were not popular. We're up to four now, off the one album. I have not booked any concerts for Europe, and I don't think I'm going to this year. It does say, or it did say that um, basically if we don't succeed in getting these 10, basically we have to do 20 next year in Europe. That's fine. I'll do that easily. But I think like I'm gonna wait until we have the second album that I have to release. And we'll aim to release that at the end of February. So March basically I'm hoping to be in Europe. Um and then basically we'll drop the same album, like another like, the same album in uh, North America. So basically right now we have until here booked. I don't know if I'm going to fill in this time period or if I want to start writing then. Um, I'm thinking, really what I was thinking is October is when we're going to start recording. So I might do basically just go all of North America and take large vent, like do a tour. Um, have him book a tour for basically here to here or here to here kind of thing and anywhere in North America and he would probably just pick the largest venues I think I don't know what he would do for all the managers guys why I just realized that but yeah okay so other things endorsements um we have more endorsements here than what we did before three of them are being used or utilized right now still nothing for dave no idea why you would think that the person with the most uh gear and the most like basically they have a big circle that you can display stuff on and everything like that you would think that they would be able to advertise more but apparently not um okay i think that's it for here this page
So we have Basically, sorry, this is our red album. It sold 144,000 copies. The EU version just released at the end of February. Sold 10,000. It's, again, not popular there. That's fine. Um, Combat of Cats has maxed at 100. This is now, the buzz is now decreasing. Um... So one thing I am thinking is that I'm going to release some of these songs as singles. I know I don't, like, I was not wanting to because I want, basically, I would like to get rid of this one and this one and just have singles, or just have full albums here. I wish there was a filter here that would just show you full albums or EPs or singles, but yeah. So I think I'm going to release full albums, or singles as well. Da, 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 anything else? No, I don't think so. So yeah, let's actually head over to a place now. This is our LA place. I think it's the same as the Texan place. We have a washroom. Not all our places have a washroom. You can't see in them. But, it's there. Because some of them don't, and it kind of confuses me why you wouldn't. And there's a back door, kitchen, bedroom, office, and practice room. This place was, I think, this place was, yeah, around 550, 500 or something like that. Um, I think we paid 450 to 500 for the one in. Dallas. I splurged from the one in Atlanta. I don't know why. It was the first one that we bought, so. Okay, but let's get the game now. So let's. Oh, it's nighttime. I'm supposed to. So let's just sleep one day. Okay, we gotta start in Colorado. Um, I want to head over here. It's the weekend. All right, so I'm just going to buy CD. Wait, assemble CD. Okay, create new. Red, black, red, red, A. Um, so, payments, respects, I mean, even the black ones, like black albums, will be. Shoot, I should record, re record them. The ones that are caught. Okay, but let's do combative cats. Sell you. Your contract requires that each CD must have at least 10 tracks. I can't even do that. Oh shit. Oh. Okay, never mind. Um, let's buy CDs. What do we have here? Let's buy 100 of you. I'm not going to bother with that one. 5, 15, and 20. 
Sounds good to me. Um, merch here. So yeah, let's make sure you're keeping. Okay, let's go then. Where are we going? How are you? Okay, so yeah. Here's our albums. As you can see, it's not high. This one's much higher, but we're much more popular here. Um, I did make it a bit different, sorry. So, there is, I think, one or two songs. Hello Dale, I believe, is off of Black. Either Hello Dane or Hello Dale. Hello Dane is from the Black album. And... I think the chain is fragile. I basically took off the two worst songs and put on the like, two of the best songs from the Black album onto the Red uh, EU album. Uh, our next album that I do, that we make, I plan on it. One second here. So hometown is up. That is different than we're used to. Um, depression, instrumental, and sports cars. This is actually very good for us. Wow. Very very good for us. Um, uh, last written by K. Let's take you out. Get you in there. Oh, I don't remember where this was. Basically, the way we've been doing in concerts has been... Um, I put Move Combative Cast down to the bottom because it has peaked, so I'm not concerned about it gaining more popularity, and if it gets cut out, oh well kind of thing. We're kind of done with it. Is It's there as a filler now. Like, a really good filler, but a filler. Um, basically my goal has been, we're getting into a hundred every concert, without try, this is actually lower than, like, usually we're there earlier. Um, my goal is to not go below 10%, and we, if I, and bait, well, basically, just my personal goal for the concerts is to not go below 10% for the in, uh, energy and except to finish around 6 or 7 is where we were before like on the concerts I screwed up on so okay um yeah Sorry, one, two, uh, six, eight song theme popularity. Make lots of money off the um, counter, and we're making tons of money at the gigs now. How do you quest? We bought them down. See, I gotta change that. Um, I'm actually struggling here, kind of. I think I need another blue. Not what I want. Here with Shady O'Grady for your daily dose of stranded radio. I got this song in my belly. Mm -hmm. 
So, what I didn't realize, and somebody in the chat, in the comments, has pointed this out, is that basically when combat, we did combative cats, and we put it, performed it in front of an audience for the first time, it stated that it had potential, and I didn't realize this. And basically, I plan on the next album to be full of, like, the reason we're starting October so early is because we are going to have a lot of songs that are going to be, have potential. I don't plan on any of them not having potential, really. So we're going to be scrapping a lot of songs. Um, okay, so somebody's going to come out, which will be you, because nobody ever likes you. Um, so, let's put you in here. Actually, no. Let's put you in here, because we can finally play you. And we'll put you here. I think we'll do this well. Because it was the red here that bottomed out, so I think we're fine like this. It's a lot more energy than I really want them to have at the end. But the so whole thing is selling. Okay. As you can see, we're making tons of money. Ah, there was feedback from the PA. Your song engineer Chandler was able to fix or to get it under control quickly. The audience satisfaction was only reduced slightly. Still a two star though. How do you quest? Shady O'Grady here. I could use a good workout. I'll meet you in the pit. Where are you heading? Right up top. You're green. No reason why you should be well not that popular as big part too. But yeah, I want the next album to be basically as much um, as potential as possible, or like basically I want it to... I want a all killer, no filler album. If we can. I don't know if we can. There might be a limit. We'll find out. Uh, when we do a new album again, I will be trying to make a, like, get each one of our guys a song. So each one of them will have their own song. And I'm hoping for basically as close to 100 uh, quality and difficulty for each of the three. Oh, you're bad payments. Well, it's not, oh, wait, that's why. So sports cars are up, destitution is up, depression, instrumental. Okay. Forgot we changed location, so you're out once again. Where are you? Well. Oh no, that one's always been in there. This one just got knocked out. Um leave you up there. Alright, let's put Venus Fragile and you in here. Which one is worse? 12. Put you there. We don't train it too much. Um, Give that a go. See how we do here. So 
so yeah um honestly the tour through uh the southeast was interesting because we did have to change it a bit the tour through texas i think after the second gig we had it basically down pat so there wasn't much to really fiddle with and it kind of boring um so far this one's like we're going from state to state and they're different so it's not bad either wow we're up to four thousand onlookers oh crap you better love us Um, let's someone today, I didn't see where we ended, we ended at 36, less than we ended yesterday's. We still bought him down here, what the hell? Okay, so we'll move you down to here, I think, will help. Oh, and so let's take a look at our people here. Tristan is 50 on playing, 49 on writing music, and stage presence, 100 on production and repair. He is doing atheism, celibacy, and travel. And I'm pretty sure I did, you would have got this one. Basically, I in, went into the game and changed celibacy to breakup. However, it didn't take on this game. If I start a new one, then it takes. So I don't know how to change it here. And I did try it, basically take them all off of celibacy. To see if it would come up the next month. It didn't. So, it's stuck. Hippie is 50 plain, 47 writing music. 48 stage presence, uh, 100 repair, 100 business. And Dave, our drummer, is 50 playing, 47 mu uh, writing music, 100 lyrics, stage presence 47, and 100 on repairs. Uh, he is doing atheism, celibacy, and wealth. She is doing sports cars and travel. So, level. 45, 44, and 44. Kristen's higher because he does all the production. So whenever we write new songs or uh, record new songs, he gets points they don't. Really. Or he gets more points. Um, where are we going? Las Vegas. Love. We're not even going to go into Vegas. Okay. Look, Combative Cats is out. Sucks for this place. Um, uh, we can take you out, I think, and put in you. Let's see how we do here. Um... Take out Hello Dean and we'll put in you. You are the new album still. And I think we're gonna go right with that. Can we get payments in here. This is Stranded Radio. I'm Shady O'Grady. Make sure you pick up a copy of the Entertainment Guide. There's a ton of shows to check out tonight.
Support your local music scene. This three and then one has been sufficient so far. Uh, two knocks us down to 40, but if we... So, basically, I don't want to have two there, because if we have two, it knocks us down to 40. If they screw up on one of them, there's the chance they won't go down to 40, which then means this one's screwed up as well. Um, and then from then on, like you can see... Massively different without combative cats in it. Um, so, yeah, we are only 3% safe. That, like, I don't like that. Because if there's a screw up anywhere up here, that won't be 47%. That'll probably be closer to 50 or over 50, which means that this won't work, and then these are screwed up. Okay. We went to Vegas, we never went into Vegas though. Phoenix! Um, so one of the reasons we're not going to... Okay, one second here. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, get it. Let me finish all our advance, come out. Grab cats and... Hello Dale can go in. Or hello Dean. So one of the reasons we're not going to Europe until next year will be because it's expensive. It costs us a couple, like a few thousand dollars to get over there. Yes, I know we have the money. Each concert, we're paying, what, $3,000 for our crew? We're not going to make money. Like, we're going to be playing small gigs. There. We're not popular. Okay. So there are 3,800 people. Wow. And it doesn't even say it was a busy night at the counter. So. Ten, twenty-two, thirty-four. 
So if we had another red song there, we'd probably be down to 4%, which then this puts us... Because each song is taking us down 30 right now. Or 30 or just under 30. Um, so let's say 4%. And then a blue puts us up 40. So it would be 44, 14, so 4, 44, 14, what do you do? You do 7, uh, you do 15. I don't think it really changed too much at the moment. Okay, but I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. I am very sorry for the mix-up that happened. With, or not mix-up, but the like, fact that the videos weren't put out. Um... Yeah. So, sorry, we're not going to Europe because it's going to cost us a fortune to get over there right now. I'd rather wait until next year when we release the next album and then probably wait another month after that before we go over. So, I was thinking March, but I'd probably try for May for the reason being that if our, that album can help our popularity get up there, we can have bit, bigger gigs, which would then bring in more money and that would help us a lot more. I mean, once we're over there, we can basically do a lot more. Like, we can stay over there for a year, pretty much. So, yeah. But thank you all so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. Please let me know what you think of the series. And I hope to see you all again. Have a great day, everybody.